Hi there, today I'm going to be reacting to And In The Darkness Hearts Aglow by Wise Blood. To say that I'm excited for this album is an understatement. Um, Titanic Rising was possibly my favorite album of the 2010s, so needless to say, my expectations are pretty high. I'm trying to be realistic, but I am having a really hard time with that. Basically, I am expecting this to be life-changingly good. Hopefully I'm right. So let's just get into it with track number one, which is It's Not Just Me, It's Everybody. I did listen to this when it first came out because I got way too curious and way too excited. I usually like to go into albums knowing as little as possible. I usually try to avoid singles, but I couldn't do it with this one. This is the only song I've heard and it's been a long time. Sitting at this party I am absolutely in love with her voice, which is not surprising, but I'm probably going to mention that a lot. It's just so soothing. When I listen to her music, something just washes over me and suddenly it feels like everything's gonna be okay. Even if the music is pretty sad, it doesn't even really matter. It still makes me feel really warm and fuzzy. It's gorgeous. What else am I supposed to say? <laughs> it's definitely a subtle opener, but it's really pretty. And I feel like it's nice having kind of a soft introduction into the album. I feel like it's kind of lulling me into a trance. Also to be expected, but it sounds immaculate. It just sounds so gorgeous. I also just want to say that that song does not feel six minutes long. It kind of transcends time. Like, that did not feel as long as it was. So that is the only track I've heard from here on out. It's all new songs. Let's get into track number two, which is Children of the Empire. Looking like some clear skies I finally opened up my eyes Living in a Children of the Empire see that we're all lost. It comes cause walking in the labyrinth without love. How much can you take? And when are you gonna be okay? We long gone. I like the finger snaps. This is shockingly bouncy. 
and upbeat. It's gonna be so hard for me to not compare this to Titanic Rising, but I'm gonna try not to. At least not that often. I can't believe that this is real music that exists. It feels too good to be true. This outro, though. Okay. That was really pretty. You know what? It honestly doesn't even matter what the rest of the album sounds like. We got those two songs, and I feel like it's worth it. So, I'm already good. I'm happy. I like how that song was fun, but the lyrics are a little bit unsettling, which I guess isn't really surprising. Like, the um, children of the Empire know that they're not free, even though they want to be free. We know we're not free, even though we want to be free. And also, um, we don't have the time to be afraid anymore. Like, there's definitely something ominous going on in the lyrics. By the way, I know I'm not going to fully catch on to what the lyrics mean on first listen. I've accepted that. I'm not even going to try. Next is Grapevine. The man can't see his shadow. It's a little touch of country in there. Oh, Interesting. He can make you small. He has the power on the grid. I know that this isn't a hot take and everyone said this about Titanic Rising, but it really is remarkable how timeless this sounds. I don't even really know how to put it into words. There's just something about this that's so magical and like otherworldly. It feels like it's existed forever, but yet it's still somehow new. I really struggle to explain how her music makes me feel. It's just like an inner body thing that I can't fully express in words. I just want to close my eyes so bad. does this like her. She's so special. No one else makes me feel like this.
I have heard three songs and this is already album of the year. Sorry, everyone else. You picked a bad year to release because this is this is already taking it. Sorry. Okay, next track is God Turn Me Into a Flower. As long as I stand to face the crowd and all my name to know it's feel like I'm levitating. Do you guys see me floating right now? Because I feel like I am. Cause the person on the other side is oh my god. Just been you. Oh god, turn me into a I like how she was kind of just center stage and carrying the whole song because her voice is so good that it can make a track that's so sparse really interesting because she's that good. This is just really beautiful. I don't know what I can say about this that would do it justice. Gorgeous songs I've heard in a long time. Okay, I refuse to cry for two videos in a row. I'm not gonna let that happen. But just know that as soon as I'm done recording this video, I am going to go sit down, put this song on, and weep. Not necessarily because it makes me sad, but because it's that beautiful. It's so pretty that it could make me cry. I feel like I don't even need to say this because it's obvious, but just in case, this is my favorite so far. Um, moving on to Hearts Aglow. better and better. Putting these two songs next to each other might just kill me. I 
I didn't think anything was going to beat God Turned Me Into a Flower, and somehow this album just keeps getting better and better. I don't know what to say. What am I supposed to say right now? This album is less catchy than Titanic Rising was. It's more challenging. The way people are gonna compare the two right now doesn't really matter to me, but I'm interested to see how people feel about it once it has time to sink in, because this is definitely the kind of album that'll need time to sink in, and I think that that'll be way more interesting and meaningful than first impressions. In some ways I kind of feel like this album so far is a combination of Titanic Rising and Front Row Seat to Earth. It's definitely way closer to Titanic Rising, but I feel like there's something here that does remind me of Front Row, just way more well produced obviously. Somehow that's my favorite now. <laughs> Somehow that one beat the others. So next is End in the Darkness, which is 15 seconds long. I'm wondering why this is a separate track and not just added on to the end of Hearts Aglow, but let's see. <laughs> It's an interesting choice to separate that, and I don't think I'm gonna understand it until I listen to the final few tracks, so let's just get into Twin Flame. Am I still listening to the same album? Interesting change of pace that I was not expecting with the drum machine. This is growing on me the more it goes on. It just took me by surprise because I wasn't prepared for something that sounded so electronic. I've been trying really hard not to compare this to Titanic Rising, which is quite difficult because this is the sequel and they sound quite similar. Um, I guess that applies to this song the least. It's weird that I'm bringing this up right now, I know. I will say that this album feels a little darker somehow. I feel like there were some brighter spots in Titanic Rising that I'm not really getting here, and that's not necessarily a good or a bad thing, it's just the way it is. It 
it's also kind of difficult for me to try to be objective about this because this is just my favorite kind of music. Like if you make half decent Baroque pop, I'm probably gonna eat it up. It's just personal bias. I gravitate towards this kind of music. It's just my comfort zone. I feel like I might need more time with that track to fully understand how I feel. I liked it. It just took me by surprise. So I feel like I was kind of out of it for the first half of it, just kind of trying to catch up with what it was doing. So I feel like I will definitely need more listens to that song to fully appreciate it. Next is In Holy Flux. Oh, this sounds sinister. This is kind of creepy. It's a little spooky. The textures in this album are just so gorgeous though. If you look up ethereal in the dictionary, you're gonna find this album. It's a nice interlude. Don't really have much to say about it individually. It adds to the album nicely, but yeah. Moving on, next is The Worst Is Done. Is this a little bit of Yeehaw again? be dramatic but I would sell my soul or worse to have her voice I genuinely just feel really lucky to have this music. It's such a privilege to get to listen to this, as weird as it sounds. I don't even really know how to put my thoughts about this album into words. I'm just really grateful that it exists and that I get to hear it. It's kind of unbelievable. She's so uniquely talented. This is I'm aware that this album was written during the pandemic, so this is a, a fun little quarantine anthem. That being said, the lyrics in this are way more depressing than the sound of the music. It's like Children of the Empire in that way. It's deceptively upbeat. The lyric, they say the worst is done, but I think the worst has yet to come. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, I was not expecting so much country influence on this album. Not that there's a whole lot of it, but there's a slight tiny little percentage of it, which is way more than I was anticipating. Anyways, we're on to the last track, which is a given thing. Let's get into it. It's a given thing Sometimes our love is everlasting It's a given thing Sometimes we confuse the dream I feel like I've run out of ways to say that this album is amazing. I don't really know what to say at this point. I 
feel like I've been floating for however long this album is, and this song is just very gently setting me back down on the ground and giving me a little pat on the head. I don't want to be set down though. I want to replay this album on loop forever for the rest of my life. Oh, I want to stop the war between the broken lovers. It's not so This does remind me a little bit of Picture Me Better, just in the sense that it's more of a stripped back, simple closer, or like basically closer. I can't wait to cry to this album. I have weekend plans now. So, thanks. The fact that I was expecting the world of this album and it held up to that standard is pretty remarkable. I don't think I'll be able to comment on whether or not this is my favorite album of hers for a while, because that is a really high bar, but it is in the running, which is wild. I want to be as realistic as possible because I know that first impressions aren't always accurate and I don't want to overhype this. And I know that this is going to sound really overly dramatic, but I feel like this is the kind of album that will just always be special to me. Like I'll be able to listen to this 20 years from now and it'll still feel like a punch in the gut. I don't know. Like I said, I've run out of words. Hopefully I've conveyed that I love this album. This isn't really the kind of music that I can like scream and gasp and jump around at. It's just not that kind of album, but Hopefully I have conveyed my appreciation for this album and for Wise Blood because she really is just so special. I don't understand how she's of this earth. Like I don't I don't understand how she's real. I would die to just sit down with her for like a 5 minute conversation and pick her brain because I feel like she must be such an interesting person. I haven't really watched any of her interviews or anything, but I just feel like she must be such an intriguing person. Anyways, as far as favorite tracks go, I'm going to say Hearts Aglow is my favorite. Also, God Turned Me Into a Flower, and I will also go with The Worst Is Done. And to be honest, I feel like every track on this album is outstanding. If you ask me to pick a least favorite, I would not know what to say. So all of these are very, 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 very good. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like this video just spoiled my album of the year list. So there's that. So that's that. Um, let me know how you feel about the album because I am curious to see how people feel about this just in general, but also versus Titanic Rising. I feel like it'll probably just come down to personal taste. I don't necessarily think that one is better or worse than the other, at least on first listen. I feel like it will truly just depend on the person. Also, let me know your favorite tracks, your least favorite tracks. Just let me know what you think. Hopefully you love the album. I am going to head out. Thank you so much for watching. As always, social media is linked below. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested. And uh, goodbye. See ya.